Hi everyone. So I have my cranberry juice. Freshly brewed by gamers. Oh, it was really for swamp tea. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. Oh my god, it's so good. I have some cheddar cheese. I'm making lunch. I have olives, macaroni and cheese. And right now I'm cooking a bag of steamed rice because I make weird concoctions. I'm going to eat my lunch and watch Dance Moms, but I wanted to show you the snow. Because as I mentioned earlier, um, I was in love with the snow. We still have Thomas the train on the table. You kind of have to learn to eat around him. The boys' booster chairs, even though they're girl colors, they came from a consignment shop. And what the hell is this? It was like a rock of some sort. But we were eating dinner here last night when my mom noticed yonder, that way up the hill, that the town was using leaf blowers to get the snow off the sidewalk. And I took a picture of Talia yesterday and I posted it on Angels for Talia on the Facebook page and they commented back thanking me for supporting Talia's legacy, which I have so much stuff I want to do with that. Um, and also Jason and I snacked on that. This is a cute keychain on the keys. Um, there's so many things, like little things I want to do and like bigger things I want to do. I'm trying to find you all my candies that I was talking about. Real quick, some candies. Um, so this, I don't know if you've guys seen this before. This is what I was talking about. It's like Crayola. And it is a fruity flavored and thick wild colors gumballs that turn your tongue colors. Um, good old... Yep, stop. This is my favorite candy for like ever, along with Jolly Rancher. So I got two of those. And then my second all time favorite candies Sweethearts. I love the purple and the pink. What is that? Like grape? Which is shocking because I hate all things grape and like a cherry, strawberry flavor. Loving those. So that's my candy. I almost got lollipops. Like those blow pops, but hmm, yeah. So here's my bag of rice. I put a knife away, but I need a knife, so I'll get a new knife. So I'm going to make my lunch, watch dance, and moms, and then we're gonna try and experiment later. So get ready. I'll see you then. So I have my candle lit. It's the green one and that was that like berry flavor but it also kind of has like a winter greeny like Christmas tree scent. Also what I wanted to do that I forgot, see if I can reach this, <laughs> is a light to use. I don't know if that really has an aroma or not but if so I don't think it'll be a problem. No conflicting scents. Here I have my body butter, and this one is which one is this? It's the coconut butter. So I don't know, I was gonna use that one, I'm not sure. Here I have my shampoo and conditioner, and I'm gonna glaze my hair. And this is for cool red tones. Um, and then I'm gonna put this mask on. And this is the honey mask, and it is for uh, nourishing and balancing. So, um, the mask is enriched with ex oh, natural honey extract. So it nourishes and soothes the skin, relieves dryness and sensitivity for Vibrantly soft, comfortable, and balanced skin. 
So I'm going to try this one. And I have a plate of cheese grater and this soap and a stocking. What I'm going to attempt to do is try to like, you know, grate this like it's cheese. If not, I should get a knife so I can like chop it up. Um, this was from their Christmas collection. It smells so good. And then put the bits in here, <clears throat> which I'll dangle like so. So the running water will hit it and hopefully create some bubbles and add some niceness. In addition to that, I have some pumpkin spice here. This little bit is a marshmallow. <clears throat> And then this is my shower gel, and this is the hot toddy, and this one is like a cinnamony kind of thing. So that's what I'm gonna go for. So we'll see what happens. And there's my new rubber ducky. So now my other rubber ducky has a friend. Ducky ducky, my fine friends. This, I don't know if you can see, is what I have here. And I'm going to try to put it into like a stocking, like so. So that's what I'm going to do, um, and when that's finished, uh, I'll try to show you what happened. <laughs> okay, so somehow, I don't know how, but I'm managing to get this soap in here. And it's slippery, it's soap, my hand is like... It feels like there's a film on it, but I'm taking a bath, so it's not like a big deal. It's just going to rinse off in the water, so what I need to try to do, I'm going to rinse all this stuff out inside the bathtub, so more bubbles, but if you can see, it's all soap in here, so I'm going to like make a little knot maybe, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um, or I don't know, here, here's what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lay this down for a second, I'm going to turn on the water and rinse my stuff, so, so rinse, 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 and, uh, I mean, it's not thorough clean, but I rinsed most of it off, and my hands feel slimy and slippery, so I'm going to dry them off with a towel so I can then tie, um, the stocking to the faucet and then I'll turn the water back on and we'll try to see if we can get some bubbles. Okay, I'm going to turn on the water now. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Yes, 
So we use the pumpkin spice. And we're slowly getting some bubbles. As you can see, there's some bubbles, mostly probably from the little tub of the marshmallow philosophy, and philosophy is pumpkin spice, but I thought I have this bar of soap, and I kind of wanted to turn it into a bubble bar, and, ooh, it's getting hot in here. Hopefully you can hear me better now. Um, so bubbles, bubbles. Who doesn't love bubbles? Um, Lush sells bubble bars, and you can use them in two ways. One is you crumple it up in your hand and run it under the hot water, and it then as you like move about in the water and agitate the water or put jets on if you have any, creates lots and lots of bubbles. Or you can crumple it up or chop it into bits and place it in a stocking like so. I just stole this from my mom's drawer. I don't even designate a soap stocking. Like a soap on a rope. And you hang it from like the faucet there and then as the water hits it, it then should create bubbles. I don't know if like... It matters the stocking if it should be really sheer so it's easier to like drain through or what but um I don't know if this is like too opaque I don't know if that matters but again I attempted to do something you do with a bubble bar with a bar of soap because I'm not a big bar of soap fan like I'm more of a shower gel person and I'm tempted to try shower jellies that sounds like a lot of fun um, and I didn't want it, the soap to go to waste, and I just love the way that it smells. Every time I walk into my bathroom, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this is amazing. Um, I love the spice scents. Who knew that I liked that? And I do. <laughs> um, so I wanted to put some yeast to it. I had no problem kind of shredding or grating it. It, like, kind of melts in your hand because the heat of your body. Um, because it's, like, mushy. I'm like, whoa. So, um, who knows where exactly how all the bubbles came. There's three different sources. <laughs> but nevertheless, it smells really, really nice in here. And it's going to smell even better when I use my hot toddy. Because it has, like, nutmeg and cinnamon in it. Um, and I love smell of the candle I have burning my woodwick candle um I would totally tell you the name of it but I'd have to look on the bottom and right now it's burning so I'm not gonna do that but um yeah I'm just gonna I'm debating if I want to put this face mask on now or later um usually what I like to do is put on like a hair mask or like put something in my hair sit back and relax with this on my face um which would involve like washing and conditioning my hair first or I could just put this on now and then wash my hair and all that jazz um so I haven't decided but just wanted to say it smells nice and I don't even know. It's just really nice in the bathroom. So my goal is to make a bathroom more spa-like experience for me so I have ways to relax. And when I redo my room, we've decided to make it like a spa as well. Don't know how that's going to fully happen, but anything to reduce stress in my life and to keep my anxiety levels at a low level is it's going to be amazing, and I have a wonderful team trying to help me out in life. So, that's the goal. I want to show you some other things real quick. This is, um, just, I don't know, a generic waxy whatever have you. 
kind of candle, nothing special, but figured why not burn it anyway. I don't even know if it has an aroma, to be honest with you. Um, but I got it as a gift a couple of years back, so I'm just like, why the heck not? But I'm gonna go over here with you guys. My candle collection and my pepper duckies. This one is so cute. My mom got me this one. Came from Four Seasons Jackson Hole for. And it's wearing a little towel and a robe and a face mask. And then this came. My mommy got me this at the Census Spa. This one came from the Grand Floridian. Um, the Grand Floridian location. And it's wearing a little like towel. And what is that? Like some face mask in there. And a little flower. It's so cute. So I guess they're girls. So they can say they're both girl duckies. I definitely say one of the right here is and then my candles i've i've uh, hello excuse me i've not burnt this one yet this one is an afternoon rain it kind of just love with the way it smells and that one is lavender and this one is some sort of a berry flavor scent so those are my rubber duckies so i'm gonna go relax now and i will see you all later to tell you my thoughts and opinions on the face mask. So I just took off the face mask, the fiber face mask. Um, before I did that, I put the um, glaze in my hair and then I put the mask on. Now my face looks red. It's probably because it's like hella hot in here. Um, <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with the mask. I'm like rubbing around. And while I was soaking, while I'm soaking, oh, I was like, is it in there? In there. Ugh. Um, I was listening to a meditation and I really enjoyed Joanne D'Amico or Joanne D'Amico? D'Amico? Something like that on YouTube. So she had a new relaxation for stress reduction out and oh my gosh it was amazing but towards the middle of it my mother called me I'm like I'm trying to meditate mom so um yeah I, all that I have to do now is just uh eventually this will all seep into my skin and then if I feel the need to like moisturize or do anything else like that, I will. Um, because sometimes for me personally, my face can feel dry when the product is fully like seeped into my skin. So all I have left now is to do is to rinse out the glaze. And it's like, I don't know if you can, no, I did a pretty good job of washing my hand. Um, it's like this bright fuchsia, like magenta, it's like magenta from blue from Blue's Clues, like that bright pinky purple color, um, which is wild, and it's like all up in my hair, and <laughs> um, afterwards your hand does kind of get stained, but that's why I like to apply it first and then wash my body, because as I'm washing my body, I'm like really scrubbing it off, and this here, which I don't know if you can get this one all year round or not, but it smells so good. It made everything smell even better than it did when I started my journey here. I just, oh my God. I just love smelling because it's like cinnamon, but it's just more to it than cinnamon. So it is a ginger cinnamon and I feel like nutmeg and other spices in here. It's really delicious. So I'm going to go rinse this out. Then apply my cocoa, cocoa butter, um, from the body shop, which I think is weird that I'm using the body shop. So as I was saying, I think it's funny I'm using the body shop products and Lush products together, because if I did my homework right, because I've been doing a lot of research on Lush, I think there's like a backstory to those two companies. I have makeup all under my eyes. So I'm going to go and, well first I have to apply my body butter. Then take care of that and then I'm just gonna put on my facial serum that helps with my hyperpigmentation. 
because he doesn't want to get rid of what's all going on on your face that's really like makes you eh, like more sit in what the hell am I thinking of more insecure than you already are about your body so yeah so thank you guys for being here don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always till next time keep it quirky